What's going on guys? Next up, we got my record, Cliché. And um, first and foremost, I wanted to say, as I thought about this record, something interesting happened to me on this album. You know, I'm sitting down with my wife um, weeks after the release, quite recently, and she said, she made a comment along the lines of, you know you said in that song that you were an Aquarius. And um, now, before we break down um, how we got here, um, I'm going to admittedly say that I am not perfect and um, I make mistakes. I don't think that this was a mistake. However, um, it's something that as I thought through it, um, I'll be more mindful of this moving forward, especially in the realm I'm in where I'm not writing my lyrics and I'm kind of punching in. Sometimes some filler will happen or sometimes I may just say something completely out of pocket. Um, this was something that I thought through because my wife had brought to my attention, you know, you don't believe in zodiac signs uh, at all. And yet you said that. Uh, what, what did you mean? And uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, like I said, I don't believe in zodiac signs at all. The, the reason for the line is growing up culturally in school, it was always a popular thing um, to say what sign you were and, and joke about the character traits that came with that sign and also mainly just to see when your birthday was. So when I used the line in the song and said, um, with Christ I'm on a chariot, righteousness I marry it, sign I'm in Aquarius, trials in their variance. Um, I'm, I'm mainly just using a filler line to say my birthday's in February. Um, that's the only way that I identify with that phrase at all. Um, I don't look into signs and wonders and all that uh, with, with that stuff. And, um, and yet, I didn't really consider how people might hear that from the other end, saying, oh, do you believe in signs and, and do you worship your sign and all that stuff? Uh, definitely not the case. Um, but that's more of a fun song, an upbeat song. And so um, I was using wordplay and wittiness and stuff in, in different areas like that. But that was definitely something interesting that, you know, when my wife had brought that to my attention, I was like, dang, you know, I, I didn't even think about how somebody might interpret that uh, because I'm so disconnected with the literal meaning of that phrase. Um, it definitely made me realize, you know, Maybe we should be a little more thoughtful as we move through this. And maybe next time we might not use the line the way it was used so literally. Um, but yeah, uh, the song itself, <laughs> now that we've got that out of the way, the song is about walking in faith boldly. And um, I've been a believer since my early, early teens. And um, people have known that about me. However, I will say that... Um, Though I was trying to glorify God in my living uh, in the early days, all through high school and college, there were moments where I absolutely didn't. And a lot of that comes from my mega church background and uh, going to churches that were good for their season, but did not um, really shepherd people into spiritual maturity. And I don't want to say that they just flat out didn't, but they didn't prioritize it and give urgency to people and attenders of saying, look, man, spiritual maturity and growing in Christ likeness is what we value um, above a lot of things. I, ne I never saw that. And so um, for me, I got distracted really easily. I got confused really easily. And I began to um, kind of live my own way, really. Um, I tried to live in my version of good based off of what I heard in church mixed with my own opinion. And uh, that led to um, a lot of mishaps in school. A lot of people who know me from high school and know me from college know that my college years were way worse than my high school years. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, I did always boldly love God and publicly proclaim uh, a gospel message uh, in my music. And so I can relate with anybody who has grown up with around kids that love everything but God. And so, you know, one of the things, you know, I go and talk to schools a lot and a lot of kids really struggle with identity and coolness um, more than a lot of things, you know? And uh, so I wanted to make a song that unashamedly said, you know, living a life with the Lord is real first and foremost. It's not fake. It's not 
hyped up. Um, it, it's legit. It's really legit and life changing and eternal. And um, I wanted kids to have an anthem to really um, be confident in their walk with the Lord from somebody who's been walking with the Lord for over 15 years um, to say, hey, man, keep going. That's exactly what you should be doing and invite anybody who isn't to come along and uh, and hear the gospel. And so uh, this song is very kind of light, airy song that's basically just saying, you know, I don't care. I love God so much. You might think it's a cliche. And, and it's funny, a lot of times believers growing up, and even to this day, I still have some people who think that some of the things I say in my music um, are so cliche and so lacking creativity. And some of the most profound things to me uh, about God are some of the most simplistic and I love to articulate them simplistically because they in and of themselves are the value and the treasure not the loftiness of how they're said or how they're expressed and so sometimes I abandon a lot of creativity to just plainly speak and use the hip-hop medium for what it, it's always been used for in rap which is to speak a message and so people don't always appreciate that they they always want ear candy and um Sometimes I forego that for the sake of letting somebody only hear what's actually said and wrestle with that, which is God is good. God is great. Um, the relationship in him and the contentment we have in Christ is, is above all. Um, he is above all. Um, a relationship with God is far sweeter than anything, anything I have, anyone I know. And um, so, yeah, I wanted to put an anthem behind that. And so if you're a, a, a kid uh, or an adult, living in a culture of life where people downplay your joy in the Lord or make it seem less cool than they believe it to be, um, just be encouraged that it is sweet. Uh, I'll, I'll testify to that. I've been rocking with God for a long time and it is better than everything. And you have a reason to be uh, just overly joyed and not really caring what people think about it and expressing yourself and loving God in the ways that you want to. Um, so yeah, that, that's some of the energy behind the record. Um, it, it's one of the more lighter songs as far as like, it's not some really weighty wrestling, even though I feel it's a weighty topic because for kids, a song like Cliche would really connect to them more than most of those records uh, on the album. So um, if you guys can identify with that as adults or as kids, you know, I remember even as a young guy loving the Lord so much, I had so many people, including family say, hey, you should be a pastor, you should be a preacher, you should go to seminary. Um, just for loving God so much and knowing things about God that other people didn't. And it's like, you know, anybody who reads their Bible could see that um, we're called to be disciples, grow in the knowledge of the Lord, um, make disciples, uh, love and honor God with, with all our soul, heart, mind, and strength. And, um, and so when people see that, if they don't live that way, they feel like either it's a joke or it's not real or it's fake, or they feel like, that's only a type of lifestyle reserved for the spiritually elite. And we all know that that it, that God has designed that to be the lifestyle for all of his people. Uh, and that's the call to the world uh, is to be redeemed in Christ and to have a newness of life that looks like that. Um, so uh, I really, my heart's connected to that subject matter because I just see so many kids throwing their life away. And I see so many kids curious about faith that get detoured from so many different distractions, mainly acceptance, and uh, it breaks my heart uh, because I know that if these kids really get connected with God in a deep way early on, they're just going to see so much real fruit that has eternal weight over anything they could ever experience. You know, the sports, the relationships, drugs, accomplishments, family dynamics, etc. Uh, so hopefully you guys can connect with that. Let me know what you thought about the record and uh, hope you guys love cliche.